What is up, YouTube family? Thank y'all for tuning hey back in the Will Burn Shenanigans. Today, we are headed into another controversial topic of a video. Dave Chappelle, and I love Dave Chappelle, and he always exposes somebody and telling the truth. Even in his stand-up comedies, he's done it. He keeps doing it. And the name that he's exposing is going to be a big name for a lot of us because we looked up to her and everybody used to always say, like, she's the woman, Oprah. I've always heard bad stuff about Uber, though. I've heard she is a gatekeeper and she went on I've ones. heard that now. That she hide behind the scenes and stuff. I was yeah. over her when she called out Michael. All right, a lot of y'all could oh, agree yeah. to disagree, whatever y'all paying us on Michael Jackson. But I just felt like I heard being fake how many interviews she did when Michael was alive and you wait till he died and now you want to, oh, whoa, blah, blah. But you did a million interviews with him before he died. But all right. But let's dive in and see what Dave Chappelle had to say. Dave Chappelle is back at it again, exposing Hollywood handlers. Exposed. And this time, he's dragging Oprah for profiting off of other people's suffering and doing business with shady elites. When a hero stumbles, well, the cowards rejoice. Nothing feels better to a coward than to watch a brave guy fall. Oprah Winfrey has built a reputation as a philanthropist and humanitarian, but Dave Chappelle always thought that there's another side to Oprah, and he's been there. trying to expose her for years. I don't want, I gotta, I mean, I don't want black people to be disappointed in me for putting that out there. No, it's you like, don't want to be disappointed in yourself. You know what, Oprah? You're right. See, Oprah has been involved in numerous controversies throughout her career. From claims that she blackballs and destroys the careers of everyone who criticizes her, to much more disturbing allegations of alleged involvement in human trafficking. Oprah went. Oh, one. God. I didn't hear that. I didn't know about that. Yeah, they said she was uh, at Jeff Seen's Island. You know what's crazy? Oprah ain't got kids or nothing, huh? That's what I'm saying. Like, I get it. Everybody floats your boat. You don't, some people don't want kids and nothing, but. For her to have this perfect image that everybody put on her, she showed her lifestyle show is a little shaky behind the scenes. Winfrey and her BFF. The man in this photo is, quote, John of God. Oprah promoted him as a miracle healer. This man kept women chained to impregnate so he could ah. sell their babies for organs. So what? what did Dave Chappelle say about Oprah and the Hollywood handlers? Does Dave know the real truth about the real Oprah Winfrey? Let's break it down. I'm very good at minding my own business. And the trick to minding your own business is knowing what is your business. Oprah Winfrey is trending again after actress Monique recently revealed that she still hasn't received an apology from Oprah for sabotaging her hey, you career. Ain't. But Oprah, this is me to you. All I would ask you, sister, is why would you do that to me? Was it for ratings? In case you missed this drama between Oprah and Monique, it all started in 2009 with the release of the movie Precious, mm -hmm. directed by Lee Daniels okay. and produced by Oprah and Tyler Perry. Oh, the movie was a critical success, and the producers wanted to send Monique on a press tour to take advantage of the media buzz. However, they didn't want to compensate Monique for the tour, so she turned it down, telling Oprah she was already doing a comedy tour and wanted to have some downtime with her husband and kids. After this, Lee Daniels reportedly threatened Monique, telling her it's not going to play out well for you. And according to Monique, the media suddenly started writing stories about how she's difficult and hard to work with. And that's when Monique realized what she was really up against. That now makes sense. I remember hearing about her. People was calling her out like, oh, yeah, she's hard to work when they took one yeah. of her things off of Netflix or something like yeah, that. Yeah, that's crazy. So I now it makes that. sense the behind the scenes stuff that was going on. I All because... She, she wanted didn't. to spend time with her family and take no, some downtime. No, because she didn't want to go on tour. Yeah, but she wanted to take that downtime for her family. No, when they wanted her to go on tour, she was already going. She was already doing something with the comedy. Something. I know, but she said she wanted downtime. Yeah. That's that's see. Wow. Once again, we back to that where. That's so sad. I loved her. That's crazy. It's that's the crazy, crazy to think like you would think in a regular world, like as humans, we talk about like a regular job you check into, like they don't care about you. Hell, it's the same way if you're a millionaire and making money. You if you don't, them off, then. they going to get rid of you or do yeah. something to you. It's just it's literally the same. They just what you can't do, Monique, is go against the grain. You can't go against this machine. But then Oprah did something even shadier to Monique. Shady. See, Monique Shady. previously Shady. revealed that she was essayed by her brother, Gerald, from age 7 to 11. And she's been very vocal about how her family didn't believe her when she reported it. Oh. Gerald was even sentenced to 12 years in prison after he essayed another girl. And Monique oh. cut off all contact with him. Dang, However, I did not in 2010, know that. Oprah invited Gerald on her show. And she also tried to talk Monique into coming as well. What? Monique told Oprah she didn't care if her brother wanted to come. However, she didn't want to be a part of the episode. 
But when the episode aired, it turned out Oprah blindsided Monique by inviting not just Gerald, but also both of her parents who had previously downplayed the essay she suffered. I did assault and inappropriately touch my sister in manners that were not comfortable for her. And for that, I apologize. Monique was devastated, but when she tried to reach Oprah and confront her about it, Oprah went radio silent. Monique eventually ran into Oprah at a Hollywood event, and Oprah claimed she had no idea Gerald would bring his family. However, Monique believed that Oprah was lying. I shared with her that me and my mother was not talking. I shared with her we were in a really bad place. I shared with her I was hurt and, you know, trying to figure this thing out. She never said my mother was coming on that show because had Oprah Winfrey said, I'm going to have your mother, I would have said, shut it down. Yeah. I don't need the world seeing how greedy my mother is. You know what's crazy? That if, is so sad. It's so crazy because this is Oprah. Like, she can get away with it. Money, power, everything. Mm -hmm. But if, what's her name did this? What's her name, the one I always talk about? Uh, what's the one that be always in the drama? Oh, girl. The Wendy one I said. Williams? Wendy Williams do it. You know, we... Blah blah, but I think because Oprah keep it like kind of professional, like yeah. it's like you can get away like with it. Like for her, she's like, well, Monique's difficult to work with, so that's her. You're, that's her reasoning. Like, that's it. What logic? I like it's making me feel eerie because it's like you brought her brother on there that did, and, and once again, it go. I'm he going back. It. I'm going back to Michael. You interviewed Michael when he was alive with a fan of Michael Jackson. He died. Now you take his documentary, all these people coming up saying he was doing stuff to kid, and you ran with it with Gail. Now you're doing the same thing to Monique in her face. So you have no respect for nobody's boundaries. If it's selling and you getting money from it, Oprah is in from what I'm saying. That's how surprised she became who she was. And though Oprah reportedly told Monique she was sorry, Monique recently told The Hollywood Reporter that she still expects a public apology from Oprah. But this situation with Oprah and Monique is just the tip of the iceberg. And Oprah has also faced disturbing allegations of trafficking and enabling known abusers like Harvey Weinstein and Jeffrey Epstein. Several celebs have publicly accused lesson. Oprah of covering up for Harvey Weinstein. And actress Rose McGowan claimed Oprah is as fake as they come. Rose blasted Oprah for being friends with Weinstein and Russell Simmons, who's also faced multiple allegations of SA, and wrote, I am I glad more are seeing the ugly truth of Oprah. I wish she were real, but she isn't. From being pals with Weinstein to abandoning and destroying Russell Simmons' victims, she is about supporting a sick power structure for personal gain. She is as fake as they come. Good Singer Steel also publicly called out Oprah over her friendship with Weinstein, and he claimed that Oprah knew all about Weinstein's misconduct for years. Now, when it comes to Oprah's alleged connection to Jeffrey Epstein, this story is shrouded in a lot of mystery. However, there's been a ton of speculation online that Oprah helped Epstein pick his victims. At one point, reports even emerged that Oprah's Florida residence was raided over her alleged involvement in a global trafficking ring. However, Oprah later addressed these reports on Twitter and called it an awful fake thing. It's not- Man, you know how much money she got to get rid of every- Y'all, come on, man. You're talking, she a billionaire, basically. Like, do you know what she probably got in her back pocket and who she got in her back pocket? Mm -hmm. You think she going to jail? If drug dealers can get off with a good lawyer, what you think she got? She probably got them just... She probably got her own lawyer. Man, come on. Her own firm. <laughs> Wait, like, the her own she, judge. Like, you know what to do. Make it look real. Not true, Oprah wrote. Haven't been raided or arrested. However, the speculation didn't end there because Oprah's name was also brought up in connection to a Brazilian self-proclaimed medium and convicted offender, John of God. John ran a spiritual Jesus, healing center everybody. in Brazil for years before being arrested and sentenced to 63 years in prison for essaying multiple women. But before he was arrested, John was featured on an episode of The John Oprah Winfrey God. Show, and Oprah actually traveled to Brazil to meet him, later claiming that she experienced something profound during their conversation. This is an interview I wasn't sure would ever happen. One of the most famous spiritual healers in the world rarely talks to anyone on camera. Come John of God agreed to sit down with me under a mango tree on the grounds of the casa. The first time I saw it today, I was humbled by the experience. Ela disse quando ela viu primeiro as pessoas hoje, um pouco isso aqui pertence a você. Because a little bit of this belongs to you. A part of this belongs to you. 
However, after the allegations of SA and CA against John became public, Oprah deleted all interviews with him from her site and okay, released a did. note stating that she hopes justice will be served. She got her team and what makes quick. this story even more disturbing is that by the time Oprah met with John of God, she had already opened an all-girls high school in South Africa. And in 2007, a school matron named Virginia was charged with getting inappropriate with multiple girls. We arrested a former employee of, uh, who was working at Oprah Winfrey uh, Leadership Academy for Girls. She was arrested yesterday for several charges, including uh, assault, indecent assault, uh, as well as uh, soliciting girls under the age to commit indecent assault. And uh, she's now at the Ferenheim police cells. But despite all these scandals... You know what's crazy? We keep hearing about multiple celebrities and these higher-up people involved in the type of sex ring. What if that sex ring is just that big? You ain't stopping it. Like, it's so many yeah. of them. You find one and be like, you a part of it, you a part of it. But it's like, they probably so protecting it with yeah, each other. or they know how to get away with it. Like, you're not stopping them. Because exactly. I keep hearing multiple people just a part of this whole... Allegedly, they are, but it's like it's it's like how they say, like it's like when you start a rumor and it keeps going and keeps yeah. getting worse. It's like you can start it from one point and then go to like another point. So it's like for all we know, this could be fake of Oprah. We we don't know yeah. that it could be all fake. But then it's like they say when they talk about it and they make it make sense. It's like you can't. Not, I mean, if the facts is there, yeah. I, my so thing is like, they got video evidence of certain people doing stuff. That's the part. Or you was no. Oh. See, that's the thing when they do, but sometimes they don't no, have yeah. no evidence and they're just talking. But so some it's of like, some of them just higher up. You ain't yeah. getting no evidence. They know how to hire. Exactly. In controversies, Oprah managed to build a reputation as a committed philanthropist, receiving numerous awards and accolades, including the Presidential Medal of Freedom in 2013. However, if you ask Dave Chappelle, Oprah has had us all fooled for years. See, Dave's probably Dave the only celeb who saw through Oprah long before all these scandals came to light. All the way back in 2006, Dave appeared on The Oprah Show to discuss why he turned down a $50 million deal from Comedy Central and escaped to Africa. But when Dave told Oprah that he had heard stories about what happens to celebrities who refuse to be controlled by Hollywood elites, Oprah acted clueless and made Dave look crazy, trying to get him to admit that he lost his mind. I've been in show business since I was 14, and uh, I've heard the stories mm -hmm. of what happens, and I've seen these kinds of things play out in front of me. Okay. When, I saw when you say you heard the stories, what do you mean? What stories? I mean, you see before, look, Mariah Carey made a $100 million deal and three months later, she's all of a sudden mysteriously crazy. Or Martin Lawrence punches through and he's waving a gun on the street screaming, they're trying to kill me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we hear those stories. And it always happens around a time in their career where it seems as though they're crossing over the next plateau. Yeah, yeah. Would you say you That's lost crazy. your I mind? That's crazy. I never knew that about Martin Lawrence. He said, she said, would you say you lost your mind? Cause she she know. Look at her eyes. Look at her how she's looking right there. She knows. Like, she's like, we're alive. It. Don't say this. He knows the secrets that we. I've are, never heard of Martin Lawrence. I never. Or knew even Mariah Carey. I never heard of any of that. The secret society. He knows about the secret society. No. No. Not exactly. Okay. Uh, I wasn't crazy, but it, it's incredibly stressful. On top of all this, Oprah's name recently started trending again after reports surfaced that she tried to blackball Kanye West and reportedly told several artists not to work with him. Besides that, Oprah's also reportedly close to Harley Pasternak, Kanye's former personal trainer who threatened he would institutionalize him again and send him back to Zombieland. Sources close to Dave Chappelle are now saying Dave is not surprised to hear all these new allegations about Oprah because he allegedly always believed that she was a handler who works for the Hollywood elites. As for fans, they're praising Dave for speaking out against Oprah, and they're saying that hopefully more people will start to see Oprah for who she really is. Dave and Oprah are the best examples of what Hollywood can turn you into, one fan said. Dave got away from the negative effects, and Oprah became Oprah the negative heat. effects. It's what it is. And another fan wrote, she's a handler, and I'm happy to see more people are becoming aware of the toxic person she truly is. But let's hear your... Th I don't know. I feel like for me, I'm like... You have those diehard fans that just don't want to see wanna anything bad for them. So, like, you have Dave Chappelle fans who are like, no, he didn't do this, he didn't do that, he's not like that. Then you have Oprah's who says, you know, she's just this 
ray of sunshine like because you don't want to see nothing negative come from them and i get that like there is those fans like that those super fans whatever you want to call them but i feel like when you have fans like that there's no bringing them down no no i mean you probably got people that believe that epstein dude yeah no, exactly because they so deep in yeah the they're like the fan of him or something like that i don't know i mean i don't know if you, there's anybody a fan there's of been him. certain stuff but like, it's just it's so much stuff that everybody's gonna have their own opinion on it they're but, gonna see through the cracks and this they're gonna see like a little crack and they're gonna go in there open and be like nope see this is this but is, you know it's crazy real. off topic but it, it i'm thinking about what dave Chappelle just said and i think about when he said that artist is catching crossing over mm-hmm. i think of one artist right now Lil Nas X came out, blew up on Old Town Road. Mm-hmm. Everybody could have played that song. Kids could have played it. Yeah, you could play it at a kid's party if you wanted to. Mm-hmm. It was very, and it took it. It took it. Took it by. It made him. Could you think that's when his big check came, and then after that, all that extra shit came after. Like he changed over drastically. That's what I'm saying, and maybe that's what Chappelle was talking about. Yeah, you come in, they get you, and they like, here's that big money, but you yeah. gotta do this. Because then he went to where kids couldn't listen. And to And he him, went all. He like, went wild, Whoa. like shoes to yeah. everything and it's like they selling themselves for a the dollar for anything like and if you go against them and say something it's like oh you the problem no you're not y'all doing sacrificial stuff for money and views that that's wild it's a lot so i, I mean it, it, it's a lot for yeah. all we know oprah could be this could be all right about oprah and then for all we know it could be dave really heading off the ledge and he's just speaking and this is all false it's like you just never know that's the bad part but who you know gonna sit there and turn down 50 million you could say like dave going off that man turned down 50 million how many people you gonna sit down in front of them right now and tell you you're gonna turn down 50 mil yeah that man turned out 50 million like there's there's probably not even a point percent of people out there that say oh i'm gonna turn out 50 million he said i'm not taking that chance of y'all taking me out like mm-hmm. Making me crazy. Yeah. A lot of artists now that are older, when you look at them or that's in the industry, they are different. Mm-hmm. Look at Britney. Britney is destroyed. There's a lot of artists who we grew up with in or Disney. Or a lot that are they're coming destroyed. out. They're coming out now with the truth and the Yeah, sense. people want to laugh at so, Orlando Brown. But Orlando Brown got destroyed. Mm-hmm. Like, they don't want to talk about it. Like, they're destroyed. Amanda, from the Amanda show, destroyed. Homeless on the street, destroyed. Yeah. Like, it, it's crazy. It's crazy. The money, the power. A lot of them just have a lot of stories that just aren't out yet. No. Like, they haven't spoke up. It's crazy. I, I know it's more stories. I know. I think what's going to happen is you got so many celebrities now coming forward to talk about this stuff. Mm-hmm. It's about to get to the point where a lot of people about to step up. But like, oh, okay, it's time for me to tell my story, too. Yeah, like, it gives them that, like, um, what is that feeling? Like That the, courage. That courage to kind of be like, okay, like, if they can do story. it, I'm going to do it. Yeah. I'm a part of this. But this is wild. This blew my mind because there was so much it facts in this that mind. I did not know. Like, that is crazy. But as always, let us know y'all thoughts on this one because I know this is going to be some controversy down there. And uh, we'll go down there and and check in. No judgment. You know, but we'll see y'all in the next one.